Mrs. Bowles, my name is Catherine, and I'll be your nurse today. Hi. So what brings you in today? Well, I've been having really bad indigestion, and right after supper, it, like about a half hour after supper, it went like right up into my shoulder, my left shoulder. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do a cardiovascular assessment on you. So I'm just going to start with a few questions. Okay. Um, so do you frequently have chest pain? Not really. Um, I never really had indigestion this bad before. Okay. And do you are you having a hard time breathing at all? Yeah, like I noticed that after after a little while, it, it was more difficult for me to breathe. Okay. And is there anything that helps you help helps you breathe better, I like sitting up? I didn't really notice that. Okay. And uh, do you find that you have a hard time breathing when you're sleeping at night? No, not really. Okay, and uh, have you noticed that you've had a cough at all? No, no cough really. And have you been fatigued? Not any more than usual. Okay. Now, I noticed that your skin color is a little pale. Is that normal for you? No, I've been a, lo a lot more pale lately, and also my skin's been more cool to the touch. Okay. Um, and have you noticed any swelling in your, in your skin, like on your ankles? No, not really. And have you, um, have you had a past cardiac history? Yes, yes, I, I was hospitalized for hypertension. Um, yeah. Okay, and does your family have a history of cardiac problems? Yeah, they do. Um, I'm pretty sure there was um, a myocardial infarction and also some hypertension in my family. Um, there was also somebody who had a cerebral Well, now we're going to move on to the objective data. So um, I'm actually just going to auscult I'm going to I'm going to auscultate and palpate your carotid artery, which is right here, and I'm going to I'm going to palpate and auscultate in three different areas. So I'll start with palpation. So get a feel for it, and I'm just going to move down your neck a little bit, and I'm going to feel it on both sides. And um, I'm just going to note that the, uh, the pulsations are even and strong. So now I'm going to auscultate. And when you're auscultating, um, I'm going to use the bell of my stethoscope. And again, I'm going to do it in the three areas. So now I'm going to get you to lie down. I'm going to I'm going to measure the angle between your jugular veins and your angle of Louis, which is the angle between your manubrium and your sternum. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, my rulers, and I'm just going to palpate for your angle of Louis. So that's right here. And then for your pulsations on the neck, uh, you look for the highest pulsation. So I'm actually just going to get you to turn your head a little bit away from me. And I'm just going to get the ruler here. And you just measure the difference like that. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, feel for your apical pulse. So apical pulse is mid-clavicle, mid-clavicle line, and it's uh, five intercostal space down. Um, palpating for apical pulse it is is strong and even. Um, now I'm going to um, palpate over your chest area, over your heart, and I'm going to feel for any abnormal pulsations. Um, I'm also going to feel for any lumps or any abnormalities, um, because a client is a female, um, it is a little harder to palpate. Um, and I'm also going to percuss in the area. So over bones, you'll feel dullness. You'll heal dullness, sorry, and you will also hear dullness over the heart. Um, over lung fields, it'll, you'll hear resonance. So when you palpate, one finger, 
and again because she's a female, um, the uh, percussing is not always very accurate because of the breast tissue. And so the last thing is I'm going to auscultate over your heart field. So there's five places that we auscultate. We auscultate over the aortic, the aortic area, which is like right here. And then we auscultate over the pulmonary area, which is right here. And then we auscultate over the herbs point, which is just below the pulmonary area. And then the tricuspid is, um, tricuspid is right down here. And then the mitral is over here. I'm just gonna auscultate. And again, we auscultate with the bell. So when you're auscultating, you're looking, you're you're listening to hear the um, the heart sounds. So S1 and S2 are normal heart sounds. S1 is the closing of valves at the beginning of a uh, systole, and then S2 is the closing of the valves again after the blood is pushed through to the to the from the ventricles to the artery, and S2 notes the end of systole. And then the system goes over again, you start back a diastole, and you go through the systole. Now sometimes you will hear S3 and S4, which are normal heart sounds. Um, S3 is caused by vibrations during um, diastole. And um, and S4 is also an abnormal sound.